Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to Linux tutorials today is our lecture number two and this is Ali Raza and today I am going to explore Linux in front of you people and in the previous lecture we have installed Linux CentOS version 7 so hope you have understood and you have also installed Linux uh, virtually with the help of the VM software now let's start and see what's inside the Linux CentOS version 7 so let's go all right so as you can see I have the desktop of uh, Linux operating system and here you have you are looking at some icons uh, it's very similar to Windows environment we have a desktop and we have some folders and let me tell you one more thing every user that has logged on to the Linux operating system has its own uh, set of folders let me show you if I go to the home folder this is the root directory for a particular user uh, and he or she can be able to save the documents that uh, or to download the files or to save the pictures or to save the audios uh, so so many things you can do with the help of uh, this particular home folder and apart from that we have the recycle bin here and we can uh, delete the files and these files will be stored temporarily for a particular time period in this recycle bin and here we can say it a trash okay All right, so as you can see, uh, when I have opened my home directory, the desktop folder, the documents folder, the download folder, everything remains the same, but the UI is quite beautiful uh, in the latest version of the Linux. One more thing that you can uh, see here, uh, you can see the left hand side panel, it's very similar to the Windows Explorer, and here he, this is the Explorer in Linux as well. Now, uh, let's go on some other tabs and see what we have, what, what else we have inside Linux. Here is the power option, and you can see you can connect to the network you can uh, uh, increase and decrease the sounds from here you can turn off your Linux from this point and there are uh, this is the user who is logged in and when you click here you you, you get the uh, options of wired settings and the wireless settings also if you have a Wi-Fi connected to your Linux operating system so when you click on the connect you can easily be a, a wizard will open or a window or a pop-up will open and it it allows you to connect uh, to your uh, local network that is uh, the internet okay apart from that uh, we have different options uh, at the top most corner here we have in applications there are so many options like your, your default browser yes let me tell you one thing that uh, Linux operating system has its default browser that is my, my uh, Mozilla Firefox and here uh, there are so many other things like calculators clocks documents so all are the things remains the same as we have seen in the Microsoft Windows right and here we have internet and then office uh, related softwares uh, are there and here is sound and video so you can explore these options one by one and you can change the settings as per your uh, requirement okay uh, we see the task manager in Windows here we have the system monitor where we can see the things uh, that are going on at the back end uh, the softwares that are running the processes that are running uh, from that particular window we can able to we can be able to see that okay so you can see this is my task manager and you can see there are so many programs that are running by default and you can see the resources you can see the memory usage the CPU usage and the network history these all things are available also in Windows environment as well and you can see the file system and which drive is used how much and what is the total space what is the available space the processes and you can select any process and you can end task uh, in windows here you have end process i hope you are getting what i'm trying to say now close this there are so many other things let's go to the places these are the same folders that you are looking behind okay and here we have computer when you click on the computer you see your drive and the folders that are by default folders as you can see there are so many folders some of the folders are uh, coming with this icon and some of the folders are coming with the close icon and and rest of the folders are normal folders so this means that you cannot be able to enter in this folder because it is a restricted area by default in Linux the root directory is a forward slash after that forward slash we have further directories and the hierarchy goes on I hope it is clear to everyone apart from that let's open the files and here you can see you can be able to see the keyboard shortcuts you can see the about help and new window so these all are the options one more unique thing that we have in Linux is uh, you have at a time uh, more than one desktops let's say if your one desktop is 
uh, completely filled up you can switch to the other desktops as well you can see uh, i am i am i have clicked on the right uh, bottom corner of the screen though it is not coming in the recording but you you will see in your pc that it 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 will written uh, there one of four that means you have four workspaces separately when you click on the workspace 2 you will navigate to the workspace 2 and so on okay so i hope it is clear to everyone so there are so much spacing uh, or working area that you can be able to manage in linux okay let's go to the network wired connect and you can see the wired settings if it is disabled then you can be able to enable it by clicking on this icon of the network so guys you can see uh, we have connected with a 1000 mbps uh, gigabit network uh, and my adopter is 1 g uh, 1 gbps and we do not have any vpn and we do not have any network proxy and you can see on the left hand side all the settings are appearing uh, in front of us so we can be able to configure wi-fi we can be able to configure bluetooth background notifications so uh, the, there is no adopter found there is no bluetooth found uh, the background the backgrounds we can be able to change the notifications and the region and the language settings so many things we have here it's very simple uh, to access and to uh, run a Linux operating system nowadays in the latest version. We don't have to write uh, or uh, we are very uh, helpful to the uh, Linux developers that they have created so much easy user interface uh, with the help of a Linux operating with, uh, in terms of the Linux operating system because uh, Linux is an open source operating system and the user interface of an open source operating system uh, is not so good. Uh, and, and it's not so easy but this uh, Linux operating system has a very uh, friendly user interface as you are looking at okay so I hope you have understood how things are going on in Linux operating system one more thing that I must mention here is that the command prompt in Windows we have the command prompt and here we have terminal if you see the terminal is something uh, like a command prompt that we have inside Windows the, when we type CMD in the run uh, dialog box okay all right so you can see my terminal is open and the terminal from where I have opened this terminal I have opened this terminal from desktop that means this terminal is uh, open in the desktop environment that whatever you do inside this will be affected on the desktop I hope it is clear to everyone so why I am showing you this terminal because in the later classes I will let you uh, demonstrate you the basic commands of Linux and uh, how commands helps us in Linux to perform our daily operations and the task that we are going to perform I hope it is clear to everyone let me write here something so that you can be able to understand uh, let's say I am currently logged in from a user that is Ali Raza but I wanted to log in from a user that is a super user or the root user of the Linux or you or in simple words you can say the administrator so here I am writing SU SU means super user when you click on when you press enter it will ask you and prompt you the password and I'm writing now my password that is one two three four five I'm literally writing here but it is not displaying but it has typed and it is the security feature of Linux that the password is not shown by default and when you press enter it will validate the password and the username and then logged in the command prompt with the help of the administrative user I, I, I hope you have understood that how can you change or switch the account okay Similarly, you can clear the terminal with the help of the clear command. So these are the commands uh, with the help of we can do certain things. Uh, so that's all for today. Hope you have understood the basic uh, environment of the Linux and where is what and where you can find which feature. So keep exploring Linux CentOS version 7. In the next lecture, we'll see the basic commands of Linux and how can we use them. So till then, uh, hope you have understood. Uh, everything if you do not understand anything please do write me thank you so much take care Allah Hafiz